Hey guys! So it's still snowing. Yeah. Not nothing nothing much to report. It's only like a little small layer of snow out there. It'll probably be more by tomorrow, but um there are two things that are bugging me and I want to get them off my chest. Uh the first one, I am really not happy with today's video at all. Um first I mean I just I really struggled to just come up with something to write about, and it's just, I think my brain is elsewhere, and I just couldn't get it, I think, I, I think part of me burnt out, um, after last Friday's video, and Monday's video was a ton of work, and then Wednesday's was not, it, it honestly, it was, it was very little work eventually, but it was, uh, <coughs> it was a lot of just brain think as to how I was going to structure it, um, I think it turned out okay, but, uh, oh, that's right, it did not work, well, there's one thing in particular that really, I don't know, it makes me self-conscious and, and, and concerned, because, <clears throat> yeah, they named they named the winter storm Nemo, and so I decided, oh, well, finding Nemo, I should make a joke about that. So I said, um, you know, something like, you know, you, you shouldn't call it Nemo because yes, most of us will think of, you know, Captain Nemo from Twenty Thousand Jules Verne's Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. But a few of us are going to think of that other Nemo. And then I said, and then I like I went and I looked up other Nemos. Um, I found okay, well, Tr Nemo's a minor character in Charles Dickens. Piece, so I'll, I'll say that. Um, so, you know, subversion of expectations. Everyone knows that I'm saying, a few of us are going to think about finding Nemo, but then I say, Charles Dickens is Nemo. It's subversion of expectations. It's traditional formulaic comedy. <laughs> and a lot of the comments were like, oh, I was actually thinking about finding Nemo. My like, crap. Um, and, and, and a couple of people were like, I didn't know there was, there was a, a Nemo that, that wasn't finding Nemo. And I'm like, oh, dang it. Now I feel I've got, like, this whole intellectual pretentiousness streak, and I feel like, you know, is it a matter of I'm out of touch? Or I'm just... I, it, like, it, it, it does. It, it bothers me. It gets to me that people won't know who Woody Allen is or who George Orwell is or things like that, and it just it scares me. And I, I don't really know why. I mean, I love, I love Pixar, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to make literary allusions to it. In general, so I, I don't know, and I wonder if there is an extent to which I I'm too pretentious and I need to work on that. But it also it's just a matter of when a joke doesn't land, and it doesn't land with more than one person. You got to go, oh maybe it's me, maybe maybe I'm really bad at uh, delivering, you know, the right stuff for the people I'm I'm, you know, comedying to. So I'm self-conscious about that, but, um, no, but the other thing is just this, this whole YouTube channel is so stressful, and I, because I'm getting to the point where it's, like, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm close to, to my, to, to, to the thousand subscriber mark, and, uh, I'm at the point where, like, I'm meeting with people about YouTube strategy, people at work are noticing my channel, other people are noticing my channel, and I actually have to start thinking about things like personal brand and all this, and I feel just so egotistical talking about any of that. Um, but it's, I mean, at the same time, I, you know, I want to be successful. You know, I would love to, to explode in traffic. I'm, I'm ashamed of that to an extent, because that's not why I started doing this. Right? If it's on the table, yeah, but then I feel bad. Like, that's not, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm already selling out just by planning on, like, well, what can I do to attract more subscribers? That already being at that point is just... I've, I've completely sold out. I've lost my moral compass. I'm just... Ah, out there. <laughs> but I don't know. And and and, 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 and to be completely honest, that, um, actually someone asked me about this um, in, a, in a private chat, but I, I said one of the reasons that I do this, this daily vlog is because... Um, you know, I've noticed that my main channel videos are going to, are going from less, you know, less just candid me and more toward just the the hyper entertainer, you know, wacky zany me, you know, maybe and and moving more toward comedy sketches and that sort of thing. And uh, I think it's important that I, as I said, there's, there's a distinction between appearing to be honest and transparent and actually being honest and transparent. Um, you know, because there are parts of, of my life that I don't share with you. Um, you know, you've never seen me go to the bathroom. I'm sorry, and and you likely never will. I, I hope, I hope you never will. But, 
Um, but at the same time, you know, part of being on YouTube is it is a very intimate relationship, and I want you guys to feel that I'm being open with you guys. Um, and I think the daily vlog helps with that. And but there's always the part there's there's the guilty conscience of well, is that Machiavellian? And there's the intellectual pretentiousness again. Yes. Um, but this is a matter of I'm working very hard to appear honest to you. That like it's a, it's an elaborate lie of me trying to appear honest to you. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And uh, it's weird that at this really very early stage in the game, you know, I'm having these concerns because I've been doing this for six months. You know, it's not it's not a time to be having these sort of thoughts. But, I, you know, I just, I needed to get that off my chest. You know, there's, there, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a matter of, I think, I think for YouTube to work, you really do have to connect with the people who are watching, and you have to be as open and honest and, and you know, and, and let people into your life. At the same time, you know, more than half of my life is computery tech stuff that I never talk about. You know, even the times when I, I use Mashable articles and stuff in my main videos, it's never, it's never, I, I, like, I don't write articles. Yeah, you know, I'm, a, I'm a tech guy. I'm, I make the site awesome. Um, so there's no, I mean, there's a whole huge aspect of my life that I'm not sharing with you. And I work really hard <laughs> to make sure that it seems to you like I'm being transparent and honest. And... There's a part of me that feels like that's, you know, that's part of wanting to be successful and wanting to, you know, engender a good relationship with the audience. And then there's a part of me that feels like that is a bold-faced lie and that I should be ashamed of myself for lying to you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm a good person, I swear. It's just... You know, I can't, I can't share everything. Some of it's boring, and some of it is just stuff that, you know, it's private. But yeah, the internet is weird. That, that's, that's, the, that's the lesson. I don't know why I feel like I have to, like, wrap up with some big lesson at the end of everything, but that is, that is the lesson. The internet is weird, kids. <laughs> ah! And that's, that's, that goes along with the, the, the just intellectual pretension this thing is. I always, I always feel like I come off like I'm just being condescending. I think it's easier with, like, John and Hank Green because they tend to be older than their audience, so they can go ahead and just, you know, spew something, not spew, but, but you know what I'm saying, just say something candidly and, and, and as though they were teaching a classroom of teenagers, because most of the people who are watching are teenagers, and a lot of my audience is, is teenagers, too, but I feel like it is, it is so much the sort of thing where, you know, if, if anyone my age is watching, they've got to be like, Kevin, pipe, pipe, pipe down. I, I'm, I, I know what I'm doing. Shut up. Don't you tell me what to do. Don't you tell me how life is. But that's, but that's the lesson. <laughs> the internet is weird. <laughs> okay. Um, this, this has gone on long enough. Um, I, I, you know, I'm glad that you guys watch my stuff. And I'm going to keep making stuff. And I'll, I'll figure this out. Bye.